understood this whole plate business. Well, it's because she's a learner, Mary. Yeah, but a learner in what? I mean, you can't learn to be a bride. Oh, oh, uh, I think it's about the bedroom. Oh, oh, oh yes. A learner in the arts of love. Ooh. You're right, though, Mary. It's totally point. Well, it is in my case. Oh, oh you've you passed test me. <laughs> I think round this table we've all passed our test, don't you? In actual fact, I qualify for being an instructor. Oh, <laughs> you've got your HGV license. <laughs> Right, so I like muscular men. Mm. Not wrong with that. <laughs> Give me a four by four over a mini any day. <laughs> Thank you. Did I tell you what I'm wearing tomorrow? Yes. yes. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm just so chuffed. I'm, it's proper designer and only 40 quid. Well, I just love Weatherfield Outlet Mouth. Where's Bethany? She says she'll be here in a minute. Oh, it's a bit shoddy for the maid of honour to be late, innit? Talk of the where have you been? Accepting my internship. The boss wants me to start next week. Oh, my God, you are joking me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh I'm so glad you changed your mind. Me too. I know it must have been a hard decision leaving Daniel, but you can come back at the weekends. Yeah, of course I can. Everyone. Yeah. So, we've got something else to celebrate. Oh, no. Please. Bethany has accepted a job in London working for a magazine. Oh, wow. Can you do an espresso martini? Oh, I could do your filter coffee with a shot in it. Oh, go on then. Do you fancy doing up where we belong? I'll do it. Oh, great, you've got to be Joe Cocker though, because I'm always Jennifer Warren. Happy to be Cocker. You all right, Mary? Yes. How I'd love to wear a veil one day. I didn't wear one when I married Norris. It wasn't the most romantic of weddings. I felt wrong somehow. And then there was Brendan. But fate declared that not to be. Enough is enough is enough is enough is enough. Well, I'm sure Mr. Rack's out there somewhere, isn't he? I hope so. Mm. Ooh. In the meantime, what about that? Oh, beautiful. Oh, Beth, have a drink. You're not satisfied trashing Sinead's memory. Now you're taking her son away. She's doing nothing of the sort. Well, that's not what I hear. No, she's going to London and taking a job, actually. I know. And she's taking Daniel and Bertie with her. I... Please tell me she's joking. I was going to tell you after the wedding. Bertie's the only thing I've got left to my niece. And now you're trying to get rid of every bit of her. Is this Daniel's idea? Well, it's what we both want. Oh. Where are you going? Just leave. I'm not letting you make the biggest mistake of your life. <laughs> 